Hi, I'm Dr. Adeline Tang from University of Malaysia, Sabah. In this video clip, I will explain management, the third part of management, under the course Fundamental of Entrepreneurial Acculturation. In this video clip, I will explain in more detail controlling and the challenging phase in the 21st century. The, the learning outcome of this video clip first is to understand the management function, controlling, to understand the challenge of the 21st century and to know the characteristics of leader in the 21st century. I will start by explaining controlling. Controlling actually is the final steps of management. And this is very important because from controlling, we can compare the expected results with the actual performance of the company. And after the comparison, we have to determine whether we need collective action or not. Collective action means that do we need to change our plan or what can we implement to improve our current performance if our performance is not good. So we can use quality control program or we can use budget to compare the budgeted cost versus the actual performance. There are many controlling techniques here. The traditional controlling techniques can be used such as personal observation will observe how the workers are doing. We use statistical data and reports. We use break even analysis and budgetary control to control the performance of workers. But at the same time, we can use modern techniques also. For example, we use responsibility accounting. For example, if a worker is given a task to do something, he is responsible for that and he has to perform to achieve that target. We can look at the return on investment, ration analysis, management audit, and other methods to improve our controlling technique. There are many reasons to do controlling. First, we do controlling because we want to improve the worker's employee motivation. Second, we have to ensure that everything is in good order and discipline to ensure the production take place or activities in the right to the right direction. We have to facilitate or coordinate all the action to avoid the waste of resources, to improve the performance of the company, to minimize error, reduce the, our weakness, to achieve the goals of the company, to judge whether we have the best standard or not, or can we improve the quality of our service, our product, and to make sure efficient use of the resources. When we do controlling, bear in mind, there are many different levels of controlling. When we control, bear in mind, we have to control based on the mission of the company. And we have this strategic control. Strategic control is a control by the top manager to ensure that the whole organization is working towards the goal of the company. And at the same time, each function, each department have to make sure they are working together achieve, to achieve the tactical goals or tactical plan. While for the workers, the lower management, they have to ensure that every activity done is to achieve the target of the organization. So these are the four management functions. Next, I'm looking at what are the challenging facing in the 21st century. When we are managing in the 21st century, we have to bear in mind, globalization is something that no longer unique, but happening in all the world, in the whole world. So countries like India and China has ending the Western dominance. The Asian countries are growing now. The increasing emphasis on breaking down the barriers and interconnectedness is uh, helping the globalization to work well. So we need to know what happened in the other countries, not only focus on local market. And at the same time, technology is changing very fast in this 21st century. So we have to always 
take care of our technology use, always trying to improve the product that we are producing. And then we have to always bear in mind company will not sustain if we are not taking care of the social responsibility of the company. And always bear in mind, many business are looking forward to give back to the society, whether through uh, cleaning a river or saving the animals. And then managers have to study the psychology of the customers as well as the workers. If you can understand your customer better, then you can deliver the right product to them. And then the same insight is very useful for employee management. If we can understand the psychology of the employees, then we can know how to motivate them. And the last thing that facing by the organization in the 21st century is the ecosystem of the business. Now it's not company one company working towards one direction, but we expected companies to work together a company might work together with the suppliers, the wholesalers to provide related product or service to ensure that they can compete better than the competitors. So in the 21st century, knowledge management is very important. We must know in terms of sociological, the capabilities, the we have to know the social work, uh the workers we have know the we need to know the employees very well behavioral of the leaders also very important leaders must take care of the workers and at the same time they must understand why the workers will work in a certain way biologically okay knowledge evolution is very important we must know the living system that we are facing and technologically, we must have knowledge to compute, to change our product to work better. And the thinking in the 21st century is no longer focused on the shareholders or the owner of the company. We are now concentrate on the customers, the customers of the company. We want to ensure that the customers are well satisfied. Technology empowerment, digital savvy customers are changing the world now, the economy and the business. How you and your organization respond to them is very important to achieve what the customer wants. And also in the 21st century, we are very concerned with the social responsibility of the company. So we have this social entrepreneur. In the olden days or in the past century, we are focusing on entrepreneur. Now we also have intrapreneur. All right, entrepreneur and intrapreneur, they are focusing on different rewards. Entrepreneur, they are focusing on self rewards. But intrapreneur they are focusing on group rewards and then we have managers in the previous in the 20th century but in the 21st century we expect to see more leaders there are process orientation here so when we are talking about 21st century always remember we have many changes here we no longer focusing on a uh, production itself but we're focusing on many parts. We want a leader rather than a manager to lead us in the organization. So leader in the 21st century must have integrity, must able, must able to build out the culture of the organization, know the values of the people, they appreciate the workers, they are result oriented, focus on results, they also know how to build good relationship with workers and employees. They focus on customers and they know how to tell story. In another word, they know how to motivate workers to achieve the goal of the company. And the last thing in the 21st century is we expected changes. Changes. 
Now, every company should be trying to be a technology company. Every company trying to be advanced in the technology. And then every company should try to use the digital or the social network to, to serve their customer, not only using the traditional network, but the digital marketing is so important. And then they must bear in mind the changing and the complexity of the environment. It's not only for them, but for everyone. And technology at once, very, very fast. In another word, the changes in technology is so fast that everybody, the workers, the manager have to change themselves, prepare to change. And they always have to bear in mind there are many different software that they can use to help them to do business. And they are facing many challenges due to the globalization world. So business are always at risk. So leaders or managers have to prepare to face the challenging, face the problems in the world. So when we look at innovation, innovation will help us to improve the capacity of the companies, improve the decision making, help to provide better customer value or serve the customer better, help us to do things faster and help us to reduce costs. So it's very important for us to always be innovative and creative in doing our business. Thank you for watching this video clip. For more information, please refer to my Schoology account or go to my Schoology account to download the video clip and the PowerPoint slide. And for my APK students, please, please go to my Schoology account to answer the recap question to get your attendance marks. Thank you.